As long as your sins rest upon you, God in justice must oppose you, be wrathful to you, and ultimately condemn you. But if your sins could somehow be taken away, God would be propitiated, meaning his wrath would be satisfied. It would be removed, which is precisely what happened, both when Jesus, the Lamb of God, dies. Sins are taken away and wrath is removed. If that doesn't happen, let me read you what John 3.36 says happens. John 3, verse 36, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. Now, do you feel the huge importance of what that just said? This is one gospel bearing witness to Jesus. And John said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And chapter 3, verse 36 says, If you don't obey the Son, the wrath of God remains on you. Which means that when John said he takes away the sin of the world, he's not a universalist. Do you know what that means? That means he's not saying everybody is saved. He's saying anybody who believes anywhere in the world is saved. For God so loved the world that he sent his only son into the world so that we might not perish, so that whoever believes in him, whoever believes in him might not perish, but have eternal life. Your sins are taken away anywhere in the world, anybody in the world. That's what the world means here. You remember Revelation 5, 9? You were slain, slaughtered, Lamb of God, and by your blood you ransomed people for God from every tribe and people and tongue and nation. From every tribe and tongue and people and nation. The point is not universalism here. The point is, whosoever will may have it. There is no racial barrier here. There's no ethnic barrier here. There's no socioeconomic barrier here. Every tribe, every people, every tongue, every race, race, every ethnicity, every socioeconomic level, you, Lamb of God, died to ransom a people for yourself and to gather the children of God from all the peoples of the world. And here it's happening, John the Baptist says, it's happening. The long-awaited Lamb of God, the long-awaited transaction that would bring to fulfillment everything that the Old Testament was pointing to is now happening. 